Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And as you probably already can tell from the title, today I'll be doing a makeup look based on like a wedding, engagement, any sort of Asian event. As recently, my best friend, my bestie, just got engaged like over a month ago, I think. And they had the most beautiful engagement ceremony. It was like a pastel theme. I'll put up some pictures here and here so you guys can see she wore like such a beautiful peach embellished dress it was stunning she literally looked like a goddess i'm not even lying it was just such a nice event and went really well um and a lot of you guys actually asked how to do this makeup look right here so all i did was i incorporated the colors on my um we call it silhouette camis um with my makeup look basically so i kept like the pinks the peaches on my eyes and then just underneath i put a little bit of teal like a pop of color um just to bring everything together so if you would like to know how to get this makeup look right here then please keep on watching and let's get straight into the video right so i'm gonna take this warm brown shade from the jaclyn hill palette um, by Morphe I believe and I'm going to apply this straight into my crease like I normally do and we're going to go back and forth with a fluffy brush it's always important to use a transition shade guys it just helps with the other eyeshadows to blend in a lot better I'm then going to take this Morphe pink shade from the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to apply this on the outer corner of the eyes I'm using quite a dense brush as you guys can see because I do want the colour to pop but um, you do want it to keep like obviously keep it quite blended so there's no harsh lines um, and going back into that Jaclyn Hill palette I'm going to take this gorgeous peachy shade so it looks peach but it actually has like flecks of gold in it which I think is stunning you can also use a little bit of fix plus if you like if you want like a little bit more of an intense eyeshadow look I kept it just dry on the brush but I'm loving it so far I'm then going to do a winged eyeliner because my life literally depends on it. I cannot live without an eyeliner, um, actually without a wing liner. Um, and I'm using the Brush Stroke Liner by MAC. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I'm currently loving. Um, if you do want like a matte black one, then I do suggest you use the Maybelline um, Liquid Liner, um, my other favourite. But I've currently been really liking this one. I'm then going to pop on some falsies because I cannot live without a good eyelash, especially if I'm wearing eyeshadow. Um, these are the Kendall Fibre ones, I believe. They're very, very fluffy and they just look gorgeous. Now, moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. It honestly leaves your skin so soft and so smooth. It really blurs out any imperfections. Um, and for foundation, we are going to be using the NARS Radiant Foundation. The shade that I am in is Punjab and I'm going to apply this all over with a beauty blender. I apply most of my foundations with a beauty blender because I just think it blends in the best personally. You can use a brush if you like, but you know, I feel like a beauty blender really blends everything in. Now for concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I think this is in the shade 6W. I'll leave it on the screen so you guys can see. And I'm gonna apply this under my eyes, nose, forehead and chin. Basically the usual areas just to add some extra coverage. Now moving on to cream contour. I don't always do this, but I think it really does make such a big difference to your makeup, especially if you're out and about or you have an event to go to. This is the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast. It's my favorite one. Um, now I'm gonna take the RCMA No Color Powder. Guys, can you believe my beauty blender got stuck in it? It was awful, I made such a mess. <laughs> so I don't recommend that. If you can, just take the powder out onto the actual lid. Um, I'm just gonna apply this under the contour to sharpen it up a bit so it doesn't look so messy. I also applied some under my eyes. You all look crazy, guys, can you see? Madness. Um, I'm then gonna go in with the Plum Foolery 
blusher by MAC, one of my faves, and apply that on the apples of my cheekbones. And I also like to bring my blusher into my contour. I just feel like it blends a lot more um, and just doesn't look like you have two different shades on your face. I'm then going to go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is a Shimmer Brick by Bobbi Brown. Um, I think this is in the shade beige. It's quite a golden tone which I think looks gorgeous on sort of olive skin tones, Asian skin tones. I'm also going to put um, some on my nose just to highlight that a little bit and I'm going to brush off that excess powder now so you don't look so crazy okay and um, you just want to blend that out using a dense brush so it blends into your skin better and to set everything in place I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime this is the best one this is the rose scent but I actually prefer the original I think that's a lot better um, and then I'm going to go back onto the eyes taking these gorgeous bluey teal turquoise shades i'm gonna run that straight under my lashes um, my lash line i should say actually um and you want to just keep blending so it doesn't look so harsh or crazy and i'm just gonna pop on some mascara now sorry my camera keeps going like out of focus it's really annoying Anyways, moving on to lips, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Exotic. It's quite a warm, peachy shade. It really stays on the whole day as well, so I do recommend these lipsticks. They're also inexpensive as well, guys. Um, and to top it all off, I'm using my favourite lip gloss currently. It's the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow. Honestly, it's so beautiful. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So this brings me to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will leave um, as many links as I can find of the dress because I brought it from South Hole, but obviously I'm in London. So if you live elsewhere, um, I'll try to find something similar and link it in the description box below. But if you did enjoy the video and you did like it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video if I ever decide to upload. Bye guys.